How are you feeling based on cruise experience? Are you more excited about it, less excited, or the same excited? Hello and good morning, everyone. <laughs> Brandon said as he walked downstairs that he actually let out an audible squeal when he saw our really pretty countertops. I came around the corner this morning and first of all, I noticed the yellow stripe. I do love them. It was so fun. How was the snow out there? That's pretty good. I'm actually in the debate right now. I'm glad you're vlogging because what? it's not really enough snow to justify the snowblower. I'll do it for sure. But I want to use it so bad. Just do, do I it. get this? I saw one other guy in the neighborhood doing a snowblower. Everyone else yeah. is shoveling. Can I just get it out, please? Sure. I don't okay. Care. I think it's great. Can you show them the sink because that's one thing that this morning I looked at and I was like, I don't think we featured that. Enough. That thing is so big. So beautiful. <laughs> no, I, I haven't. I did make the kids breakfast. I made Malto meal. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that, but I made that for crew for breakfast because he just can't eat anything. And I sent him to school with soup. The other boys are having pizza on Pizza Friday. Poor crew. There's no way he's gonna be able to eat pizza. Walking downstairs and seeing our beautiful kitchen has got me so excited for the next week. This is not getting enough love. It is so amazing. I absolutely love it. I'm definitely gonna be using this feature to clean out the whole sink because there's just no way to reach it all. But this little guy is amazing. And the coolest part about this guy is I found him at Home Depot on a special buy. It was like super cheap. That was very exciting. Well, the roads are really bad from what we're told. Snow's really coming down out there. I got some footage on my phone. I'll throw in the vlog. Cars off the road in ditches. Oh my gosh. People stuck on hills. Sucks. It's People. The problem is it's straight ice. It's the kind of snow that as soon as you drive Oh, I'm over, watching. You can't see right now. Slide. He's just sliding. He's just sliding. Underneath this thin layer of snow is just pure packed just straight ice. straight ice. It's just like the slush has turned to ice. It's about as bad of driving oh. conditions as you could imagine. Good. Right I have to drive all the way down the highway to get <laughs> Hazy to school. So we hope you guys are all having a great and safe day today. We're gonna get this day started and get. Sorry, I'm watching cars like 360s out there. I know. I know. <laughs> yeah. uh, we're gonna get this day started. Get the kids off to school. I'm gonna use the snowblower. Hazy's got her boots on, and we put a cute little hat with a pom pom on top. Pom -pom. And we did braids. It looks so cute and wintry. Okay, we just need your coat and we'll go, okay? It was amazing to finally be able to put the snowblower to use. And I have to say, possibly, definitely far from necessary, but possibly justifiable. Because it was some pretty heavy, slush, thick snow. But regardless, it was fun to get that out. The snow has picked up actually quite a bit since I just finished and came in. I've got to get today's vlog edited and out to you guys. So I'm going to get working on that. I kind of hope that it keeps up. And as soon as I get finished working on the vlog, I'm going to go around and do some of the neighbor's yards, shovel some of their driveways because I saw a few of them taking off to work this morning and I know that they will not be back until later tonight. It's just gonna sit there and accumulate, so it will probably be nice to come home to a freshly shoveled driveway. So I'm gonna be working on this vlog about the countertops, get it uploaded for you guys, and hit the street, snow blow as many driveways as I can because we finally got snow and I can finally use the snow blow. First time I put some pants on. Whew, I have been running like crazy. The snow was pretty bad. We made it through, we survived. But I came home really quickly to get dressed and ready. I'm wearing pink because we are doing a baby shower for a little girl. Came home to grab all of my stuff. So I've got her gifts and these baby. I don't even know if I showed you guys all this. I think I did. I did little favors for the kids in the class to guess how many starbursts are in there. What else is in here? Oh, we're gonna write. I don't know if I showed you guys all this. We're gonna have the kids write a little letter to her on the diapers. So when she's up with those late night diaper changes, she can remember her class. We've got a lot of gifts. I went a little crazy buying gifts. Yikes. And then something I think that will be kind of funny and entertaining is I've got a bag full of babies, teddy bears, a package of diapers. I'm gonna have the kids have a contest to see who can put the diaper on the fastest because little kids don't put on diapers. They don't know. At least I don't think they do. My kids never did. I'm gonna head and go to that baby shower. It'll be a lot of fun. I'm really, I'm actually like really excited. Oh, we're also gonna have one station where I ordered cookies from Stephanie and they're the cutest cookies. I'm so excited. And then we're gonna read like a baby book. <laughs> It'll be fun. Never thrown a baby shower for a first grade class before. That's definitely a new experience. All right, I had to show you guys this. I just came home and dropped Hazy off because I'm gonna go to do the baby shower now. And look what I see. I just ran Hazy over to him. Brandon's over there plowing the neighbor's sidewalk and driveway and Hazy's just playing with him. So cute. He's like, yeah, I'll probably do this one and then the other one and I'll probably come in like man I think he's selfishly doing it because he has so much fun It's really such a kind service to our neighbors He's just acting like a child out there having a great time So now I'm finally really gonna go do this baby shower And then we have called all of our kids friends tell them they could each invite two friends over tonight We're gonna do homemade pizzas and watch a movie and just have the kids have tons of friends over So I might run to the store later and get some more pizza toppings candy and popcorn and all the fun stuff They've been going over to their friends a lot lately and so I thought you know it's time we take a turn We'll go get ready for that and I think it will be fun 
kids just got home from school. Mom just got back from her party. She said it was a huge success. Smashing success. Smashing success. Little baby shower for one of the teachers. It was so cute, you guys. The teacher opened so many cute gifts and all the little kids were like, oh. I love it. How cute. It was I love it. It's so fun to involve her students. That is so very cool. Great idea. The time has come for something pretty special around here. You didn't notice yesterday these were in the background. Said to leave them up there for 24 hours. So we're gonna remove them right now. Ask mom to do it because if there's any counter scratching, I want to be because of her, not me. Is that how you do it? <gasps> Mindy? No joke. I just heard like a really loud scratch. Did you? I know. I'm just really tough. Only a big deal because can you get this one? I can do it. Oh, good. Yeet! One more step in the process of completing this whole section here. Now you guys, we've got partially completed kitchen that we're gonna be hosting a fun party in tonight. We're gonna have some of the kids' friends over tonight. In fact, I think every one of them is having a friend over, right? We are gonna be doing, we'll get more into this later, but mom's got all the fun, good stuff here. She's got some homemade pizzas. I mean, not homemade, but like make it yourself, lay it out yourself and cook it pizzas. Some fun stuff for that. This caught my attention, obviously, over here. We got the waffle bowls, we've got candy. Here we got some rainbow unicorn as well as cotton candy ice cream. It's gonna be going on tonight with some movies, some Nintendo Switch, whatever. Gonna be a ton of fun hosting some of these kids' friends over here. We love doing that anytime we get a chance to. Party preparations are getting underway, but you guys are probably wondering how's crew doing on day two with braces. You guys know yesterday he had a few different things that he had to try and eat because his teeth were hurting. So he had a smoothie, I think, and then he ended up having some soup and some mac and cheese. And that was about all he could handle. But crew, come over here, buddy. What's your chicken nugget here? What did you have? First of all, let's ask this. I don't know if we've asked this yet today. How are you feeling today? How's the mouth? Uh during the morning, it felt worse, but then throughout the day, it got better. Oh, fantastic. How about like food-wise? Are you able to eat stuff besides soup and slushies and uh, smoothies? Kind of, yeah. Kind of. Tonight, we're doing the pizzas, you know. Mm -hmm. Doing some ice cream. You could obviously do ice cream. Mm -hmm. You feel like you're going to be able to eat some of that stuff tonight? Mm -hmm. So I thought it'd be kind of fun because a lot of you guys are interested in cruise braces and what it's like to get braces and what happens when you first get them. First of all, let's just see him again real quick. I haven't seen him in a while. I love him. Oh Gosh, you guys, he looks so much older. That was the number one comment we got on Instagram is how much older you look with those. Like it looks like you aged up like three years in one hour at the orthodontist. I thought it'd be kind of fun to go through with Kirby Doo and see what foods he feels like he could or could not eat in the first couple of days with braces because there was like a time I handed him a saltine. I think I said this in yesterday's vlog and he just looked at it and he's like, can't do it. I was like, what about string cheese? He's like, can't do it. And I was like, so you're talking and straight liquids, that's it. That'd be fun to pull some random stuff out of the fridge and say, crew, could you eat this on your first couple of days with braces or not? Okay. You wanna do that? Yeah. Okay, let's try it. We're gonna get a peek inside the refrigerator. This could be scary. Oh, it's not too bad. This is awesome. Okay, crew, we do. let's go through. Actually, more fun game than I anticipated. Let's go through and pull out some things and you tell me if you feel like you could handle it on braces, eat it or not, okay? So first of all, we're gonna go simple. Could you have that? Yes, I had that actually a couple mornings ago. He did, he had that for breakfast. So that was an easy, that's a slam dunker, okay? Let's go a little bit more stiff. How about some leftover pizza bagel bites? Uh, no. I don't think so. I think the I think the yeah. crust of oh. <laughs> <laughs> How about, while we're in the field of leftovers, how about some Chick-fil-A chicken nuggets? I wouldn't be able to eat like a lot of them, but I felt like if I was handed a tiny bit of them, then I could. Okay, all right, all right that's a fair assessment, that's good. Oh, here's a good one right underneath it. We're going through kind of a bunch of leftovers here, guys. Yes. Pasta. Yes, I can eat pasta. You could eat pasta. So I know you need the mac and cheese. You don't really chew it, you just kind of like move it around with your tongue and then swallow it, right? Yeah, I just like put it in the swallow. That's okay. it. Okay, all right, that's pretty good. All right, buddy, let's get to a little bit more challenging stuff here. Let's try this one. Now remember, this is if you think your teeth can handle it, not if you would like it or not. Like, uh, what about this? Salad, but it does have these Asian noodles. Yeah, I think I would be fine with the salad, because you know, like, you just put it in, I guess. The crunchy salad? noodles, not so much? This one's like a yes and a no. Okay, all right, yes and no on this one. All right, that's good. Next up. No! <laughs> well, <laughs> no? Well, they're hard boiled, they're pretty soft. Well. Crunchy on the outside, but you wouldn't eat the outside. Oh yeah, you open it, now the whole house is gonna smell. Okay, shut it, shut it, shut it. Shut it. <laughs> Oh my gosh, dude, yes, that smell is getting everywhere. Um, okay, ground beef, like uh, hamburger meat. Oh. Actually, I think yeah. You think yeah? Okay, okay. So guys, not as limited as you might think on what you're able to eat, or you just have like a lot of really soft foods. Okay, we don't have any in here, but what about like a hamburger, like a with the bun and everything, like just bite no. into a cheeseburger? No, right? That's a no. That's a solid no. Thick pizza crust was a no. Steak dinner, well, they said for sure she not. She said um, thick pizza crust. Oh, I can fine. just tear off apart and then eat it. I want Nutella. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, guacamole soft. This is like. Okay, how about this one, dude? Like a harder cheese, like a piece of cheese like that that you cut off a slice and you kind of. Um, Gotta bite through that. How, could you handle that? Yeah, because like you know how cheese kind of just like tears apart. Like when I'm eating stuff, I can tell that I just barely put it on, and then it just tears apart, and then I eat. Which that. teeth hurt the most? That's a good question. Uh, this one, and then my front teeth. So you have one tooth right there, and then all your front. And I remember the front one hurting the most for me for sure. The back sure. is what I chew with. So you chew in the back, and you can put most things back there. But if you get something in that front, that's why I think the pizza's hard. If you take a bite straight in, because you're biting with your front chompers, that's what hurts. Yeah, the pizza up, is like curved, so I just put it in the side. And I just... Dude, nice braces hack, dude. I love that. Okay, the last one. I just gotta know. Did you handle that? No. <laughs> what? There's always room for fun. Yes. Moving out of the refrigerator into the pantry. Go ahead, buddy. Let me see what you got in here. Oh. 
Oh, lots of stuff in here, lots of junk. So, all right, buddy, I'm gonna hit you up with a quick one here. How about some chips? Just some good old fashioned um, Cheeto chips, no, barbecue chips. I don't think so. A little bit crunchy. Unless they were these, because those, you know, aren't just like super thin, right? Yeah. Okay, how about a cookie? Straight up chips on a cookie. I had those last night, so yeah. You did? Mm -hmm. Man, these braces are not as bad as people think they are. How about a macadamia? No. no. Caramel cluster. No? Yeah, no. Too chewy? No. How are chewy foods? Are chewy foods tough? Uh, Kind of. Is it more like, just like hard food? Fruit foods? snacks? Yeah. I wouldn't really eat because you still have to. Yeah, because of, of the choo choo. Okay, how about this peppermint pretzel thins? Could you do that? No. No? Okay. Peanuts, I think that's a hard no. Unless you put them all the way in the back of your mouth. Um, but there's some foods that they already tell you you can't eat, like popcorn you can't eat, but they had that today, so. Oh, no popcorn because it gets caught yeah. in your stuff? Yeah, in my teeth. But then I flossed right after that at school, so. Attaboy. Okay, and then we know mac and cheese is a yes. win. You already did some totally. mac and cheese. That was a good one. What about gum? Is this anything about chewing gum? They said I can have it. It just has to be sugar free. Nice. Okay, so sugar free gum is a good one. How about this, dude? Granola bar. It looks pretty rough. Um, I feel like, you know, like sometimes if you could like break off a piece. Break off pieces. That sounds like that's maybe one of the other hacks is that if it's something that you couldn't eat normally, you could break it into pieces and then you could maybe enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got one that I'm pretty sure is a no because those ones just crunch. These yeah. ginger snaps. Those are very crunchy, dude. I've had these. Pink Starburst, you think you could have those? Kind of, yeah. Well, yeah, they're small enough. You just put it all the way to the back and chew it on your molar. I think mm -hmm. that could work. Some yeah. foods I chew with my gums far back here where it like curves. Well, behind yeah. the last tooth. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. And then I just got. Okay, dude. Um, how about this? How about some banana chips? Because you have banana chips? Yeah, I okay. think so. How about plain almonds? Because you have plain almonds? Mm, no, those right. are like... A little bit too too intense, too intense. How about sweet birthday cake chaos? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Wait, yeah. actually. <laughs> I might as well just let's try just see. Some. Yeah, let's just test it right now. It actually hurts. It actually kind of hurts. Oh, okay. So there you go. Birthday chaos, maybe not a good thing. So what about like like bread, like big thick chewy bread, like rolls, bagels, stuff like that? Could you handle not that? Not bagels, but rolls. Soft rolls, you could do. Mm -hmm. Dude, we're learning a lot about these braces in the first couple of days here, and we know that it gets better very quickly. Could you pound sugar? Could you do mm -hmm. like a full thing of sugar? Yeah, that's easy. You just guzzle that. Oh. <laughs> that wraps up kind of some of the things that you can and can't eat while you've got braces in those first few days. Your teeth are just getting used to it. The pain is set. Settling in. Rye guy, are you getting pumped for the braces that are coming up? Now, they're not for a while for you, not yeah. for a few more months. How are you feeling based on cruise experience? Are you getting more excited about it, less excited, or the same excited? Probably the same. The same? I was thinking you might be a little less when you saw him like in pain, but seeing how cool they look, uh -huh. that's kind of cool. It's kind of cool that crew can pave the trail there. Right now, you guys, we're getting prepped up for this party going down tonight. Mom is actually making some last, not last minute purchases, but finalizing some of the items that will be going in this kitchen as we continue to give it this facelift this weekend. We've got bar stools, talking about the hardware. No. I ordered it. So we've got some new hardware coming and some gold hardware, guys. I'm so nervous. It's gonna be incredible when the thing's completely done. We can't I've wait. I've ordered so. a lot of stuff. My friend Lauren helps me, and you just never really know what's gonna fit. I always like over order, and I always do returns. But see on top work. of that, we have built such a huge amount of trust in Lauren and her work uh, because of the way that room turned out. I literally have just told her, and I feel bad because I put more work on her, but I'm like, I just trust you 100%. So you, just she usually gives me a kitchen. few options, and then I'll say like, ultimately, I like this one. I told her I was like, I trust you completely. So mom's over. Over here just getting the last things and she's about to hit checkout just seeing if there's anything else that we need before we finalize this but we got a new chandelier coming in here if that's what you can today, call that. Today? Comes today. Between 2.30 and 5.30. Oh wow. It could be here. Mom's gonna finish up that. Rye guy's got basketball practice before the party starts tonight mm -hmm. so we're gonna get him off to that you guys but then it is party prep going down. Mm -hmm. We'll show you guys what's going down tonight with these guys friends. We are waiting for friends to show up here. They should be coming pretty quickly. Dad's out with Ryler at basketball practice and as soon as he gets done, friends will be showing up. Gotta show you guys what we're gonna do for the kids tonight, what they're gonna make, and it's gonna be really fun because it's feeding them and having an activity at the exact same time. It works out so well every time. I actually made a blog post about this, about how fun it is, ideas about it. Tonight we are making homemade pizzas. My very favorite way to do these, I just got these at Sam's Club. These are just little pita flatbreads. Got this awesome pizza sauce at Trader Joe's. I just picked up some pepperoni and cheese. I also have olives, I'll pull out whatever else they want. This is usually what they want. It's usually actually just cheese. Got that ready for them. I picked up these little cans of sodas. These are from Walmart and they're actually really awesome because they're really cheap and there's not an entire can of soda that could potentially be spilled. Plus, you know, makes them a little crazy. Threw in some strawberries. That brings us to the candy portion. This is obviously dessert. We're going to be having unicorn sparkle and cotton candy ice cream in some yummy waffle bowls. And of course, you know us. We need our sprinkles. So we've got those. And these are just little treats that they can put these downstairs in the basement as they watch a movie. They can snack on some candy. It's gonna be the ultimate party.
party tonight, you guys. We are actually so excited to have all the kids over. I think each of our kids invited two friends. Name besides Hazy. She might invite a neighbor friend. We're not sure yet because really it starts at seven and usually shortly after that she's going to bed. It's gonna be a fun night. Kids will show up soon. We're gonna get making some pizzas. reason that I chose these treats. I know that crew probably will not be able to eat either one of these. So that is why I got the Jolly Ranchers. He can suck on these and it won't hurt his teeth. We have a long talk with him about not biting them. He doesn't usually bite them. This always seems to be a treat that they choose when we fly. And I think it'll be great with his braces so he can just suck on them. That was the reason I chose this. And you guys, every time I think of this ice cream, I think about us in Palm Springs when we did kids swap with Yahweh Vlogs. We had our kids, their kids, eat this out of a container in the parking lot of Walmart. It's one of those great days. Kids just made their pizzas. We just popped them in the oven. They're gonna come out in a little bit and then we're gonna eat those. I got a movie going, some Nintendo Switch. I think at some point we're gonna break out some dessert, candy. I'm looking forward to that. The waffle cones, waffle bowls. Maybe take it downstairs, watch a little movie in the theater, but I think the kids are having a ton of fun so far. They just barely finished dinner. I'm just cleaning up now. I feel like last time I made those, the kids did not eat them all. They cleaned their plates. You guys, I was dying. They did so good. They had so much fun making them. And I just like was sitting there. What was I doing? Sitting there doing something. I was cutting olives earlier or something. And I was just listening to the chatter of all the kids. And they're all having such different conversations. And I love that the kids invited the friends over from school that they hang out with every day. It's like their little niche, their little group of friends. And they're all their own people. And I love it so much. They've been having a lot of fun. And I just have to note I have these giant baking sheets right here I just cleaned them off you guys they fit inside of this gigantic sink I can't believe how huge the sink is cleaning's underway dad is going down right now to get the kids set up with a movie treats they just started I was gonna go down and vlog it Sparkle ice cream, cake flavored oh ice cream with a magical purple frosting swirl and candy confetti pieces. Or cotton candy ice cream with real cotton candy. Cotton candy. We can throw them into waffle bowls that you can actually Ooh, eat the bowls yes. and then you can load them up with rainbow sprinkles too. Kids have finished up their ice cream. They're back downstairs, finishing up their movie. I think they've had a great time. It's been a great night. It's been pretty fun. We were just dancing in the kitchen. <laughs> Cruz looks like he's eating everything in sight, so I think his teeth are feeling much, he's doing much really good. better. Been yeah. very impressed. He's taking great care of them. He even asked if he could have the rainbow sprinkles tonight. He thought they might get stuck in the brackets. And he says, well, I'll just brush them out if they do. So he ended up having those. So well, good. Yeah. Anything for rainbow sprinkles. I'll be able to tell a lot tonight because I can tell how bad they hurt when I brush. Oh, because he flinches. Yeah, he's like. Keep a close eye on the subscriber count because it is nearing 800,000 subscribers. Pretty sure it's Holy gonna happen at some point tomorrow on Saturday. Do you, you guys, remember so. when we thought that like 100,000 wouldn't even happen? Oh, I never thought we'd hit 100,000. And then people were like, after this, you know, next up, gonna be like a million. million. And, we're like, and I was like, yeah, no, right. no, 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 no. This is fun. <laughs> but but all no. of you guys show up. For guys, so thanks. incredible. Thank you so much. We're gonna go do something fun tomorrow. Commemorate that. And we also have the rest of the kitchen going down. So make sure you come back and see this whole thing get yes. put together. But we love you guys, each and every one of you, every 799,450. 52 of you. Cool. I don't know what is that right now. <laughs> we love you guys like crazy and do come back tomorrow. We'll hang out again. Love you guys. See you guys later. Mom's got the fun, the goods, all the fun stuff. Well, I think I said that in weird order. Yeah, the fun, the goods, like what do they mean? <laughs>